in the, uh, some of you have them with you, in the commentaries of the, um, the Word Among Us, they, uh, which I had never thought about before, they made, their comments were about that part where Jesus says, um, I will no longer speak much uh, with you, for the ruler of the world is coming. Um, he has no power over me. Um, never thought much uh, about that verse and, and who um, Jesus is referring to. Um, I read one commentary that said you could easily think that Jesus is referring to Judas. But Jesus, uh, and in the commentary of the, the, the word among us, um, as they say there, no, Jesus is referring to a bigger power. Um, but it's just interesting that he would, and it's the devil, it's evil, it's sin that he's referring to, but, but that he would use even the title, uh, he calls it the ruler of the world. It's coming. Um, again, even Jesus is acknowledging the power of evil, the power of sin, and how that can so easily uh, take over us. And Jesus, almost in a way, is he preparing his disciples for what's coming, or is he preparing himself? Uh, because he knows as he's going to walk now this, this, uh, this terrible way, certainly the temptations are going to be, no, don't do it, don't do it. It just got me into thinking how um, when I've got to uh, go into things, go enter into, like for example, me, meetings. Um, I mean, probably none of us loves, um, maybe some do, um, but meetings, um, when, when I lived with John Pavlik, and dear John, God bless him, would have to go to all those meetings uh, that was a part of his ministry with uh, being in charge of the office of uh, major superiors. And when he'd come back from these places and he would tell us about, oh my God, these meetings. I mean, I would say, John, you're just killing me as I listen to you. I can't even imagine having to sit there, uh, especially when it come, came to meetings about bylaws and having to revise bylaws. I, I, I said to John one time, I said, that reminds me of that Roberta Flack song, Killing Me Softly. <laughs> <laughs> that's, certainly, that's certainly what it would do to me, killing me softly and slowly, um, if I had to sit through um, those type of meetings. Um, but when I do, okay, we all, we got to do it. Meetings are a part of life and they are important. We are, and we've got to do it. But I know for myself, and it's not just meetings, but it's anything, you know, I've got to prepare myself, okay? This person's probably going to start saying those things. Um, now, Lord, help me. W what do I need to do so I stay calm, so I don't react, so I, I just, I say things that are helpful, not hurtful. Um, but just preparing oneself before you've got to enter into those, those maybe just confrontations, those, those meetings, whatever it be, just preparing yourself before you walk into that. So that, again, that you're going in there with the Spirit of the Lord, you're not going to, you know, be tempted, but you're going to try to really just follow in the footsteps of Jesus, whoever. Um, Today we honor um, St. Leopold. Um, interesting reading about his life. He um, was, a, was a friar and, and suffered uh, with the disabilities of, uh, of, of a short stature and, and also with uh, stuttering. Um, now I'm sure we all know how dear, talking about John Pavlik, how we kid about him with his short stature. Um, <laughs> so you can imagine um, I mean, poor Leopold, I'm sure, got the same thing. Um, but yet, probably preparing himself for comments that have been made, but especially with stuttering and preaching, um, the comments that were probably made to him. But yet, you know, he became a saint, probably in a way too, just prepared himself 
for the comments, things that are, people are going to say to me because of my disabilities, but yet that's not going to attempt me to attack back or to say nasty things about them. I'm going to just try to always follow in the way of the Lord. And so for all of us, for all of us, um, prepare yourselves. Just when you got to enter into those times that are going to be tough, or whatever, just prepare yourself so to always be that minister of the Lord. Amen. <laughs>